Welcome to the Four Poster Bed. Myself and Romeo are here. Hello, Romeo. You want to say hello? Hello. There we go. I love that he says hello to you guys. Anyway, um, well, oh, I've got a bit, a bit of a stress there. Right, I had to go to the dentist, but I'd also uploaded a kissing chair, a kissing seat, to Marketplace on Facebook and some other seats. And then some two people were messaging me um, about, the you know, the kissing seat that I'm selling, which is really nice, actually. And I, But I had to leave. I had to go to the dentist. So it was, like, t- it was about nine minutes to um, the dental appointment. And it was only five minutes away, but when you're talking on the bloody phone, do you know what I mean? So that got me all in a tizzy. I, so much so that I didn't have time to put my socks on, so I just put my boots on. Anyway, went and then realised as I was cycling, fuck, I've forgotten, I've forgotten my card, my credit card, you know? Um, and I thought, right, that's, that's really awkward. Now, when you know that you're a very honest person, you're definitely going to pay something, you think, oh, they'll be fine with it. But also, if you're a criminal you think that <laughs> so, so anyway I said to my dentist Jess she's very nice she's a, she's um my dentist in Gosport um really r- lovely lovely dentist very um just nice just she's never hurt me once even when she does that dig deep stuff and um so I got in I said Jess look I'm I blah 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 she'd already given me two d- installments so I said, look, if you just hold on to it. I thought she was going to hand over a packet and, and then I'd pay and I'd be home. Oh, no. So I have to I had to sit down. An hour later, I've got four knobbly bits on, on four of my teeth at the back. So t- one each, t- one top, one bottom, e- and one, e- you know, each side, if you see what I mean, mirrored each side. And they're near the back. And these clips are where, they're, because I wondered, I thought I'm a, you know, a snorer dribbler type when I go to bed at night how are they how on earth are they going to stay in and I thought they might be all you know together so you had to keep your mouth shut but they're not you have these clippy clippy things and that took an hour to implant them very sci-fi all very much um you know a bit not dissimilar sort of tattooing and beauty treatments and stuff so she said oh you know what you're doing um with the, you know, vis-a-vis the syringy type stuff. Anyway, it's lovely. It's really, it was like I'd been shopping. I mean, it was worth the 600 quid, darlings, honestly. So, desensitizer snap swabs, I've got, it's all black. The system is called Enlighten Seal. Um, is that, no, that's not it. Hang on, let me look. I'm on, I'm on my Twitter. You you get this sealer stuff and that's, that's, um, to desensitize, so you put that on in the morning. Right, the actual system is called Enlighten Evo Four, E V O Four, and the. Uh, what do you need to know? Anything else? Please refrigerate. Yes, please refrigerate. So um, that's all you really need to know, I think, guys, isn't it? I'm gonna. I've just realised. I'm gonna delete that post because. There was something on it I didn't want to be seen. Right, so it's gone. It's not on my Twitter anymore. But it will be on my um, video channel, so Vimeo. So tomorrow morning will be after my first day. I suppose I should do it before and after, so I'll do a before shot tonight. Um, anyway, you. so basically she. You, you have to wear this big open thing, you know, this shove it in your mouth. You've got your mouth, like, really wide open. Um, I mean, it must look such an ugly sight. I mean, gosh, I mean, thank goodness I couldn't see it, frankly. Thank goodness there's not a mirror on the ceiling. Imagine if you could see what they were doing. So I must have looked like some kind of freak. Um, And I said to them, actually, it's not dissimilar to to fitting a diaphragm. Um, (laughs) Because, now, if you don't know, a diaphragm is a thing you put up your penani to um, stop the sperm, to stop the sperm getting passed into your cervix up into your womb and giving you a baby um it's sort of it's, it's quite a natural process but I was allergic to mine I think it was made of latex I was very very allergic to it so anyway I did notice the similarity between them trying to fit that in my mouth which I always thought was huge but apparently not apparently it's not huge at all so they you're you're sitting there with your mouth wide open and then they dry dry everything so I've got a thing and a puffer thing that dries it all and then there's a thing sucking up the spit 
and then they they put these blobs on these back teeth and then they use a special thing to i suppose set them maybe halfway set them or something then they then they put the molds in and pu- push them tightly and then they use something else which i guess is a hardener so it's all really it, you know the process is actually quite mouthy <laughs> it's the only way it's the only way i could describe it mouthy um so yes anyway it took an hour and i had to apologize profusely because i didn't i'd forgotten my card i had to cycle home pick up the card well of course when i got home i couldn't find the bloody card because i'd moved stuff off that bloody sofa so that i could sell it on marketplace and i'd moved my purse oh it was such a drama such a drama honestly guys honestly so now i feel a bit like oh you know, I've got IBS. I'm having an attack. I mean, I was having an attack before, but now it's just worse. So I need to calm down a bit and, and have a nice coffee. But so far, so good. It's the You clip them in. They're very gentle, rubbery things that, you know, they don't... They're, they're not as oppressive as maybe I thought they were going to be or as, as choky. They don't feel choky at all. It it actually doesn't feel like you've got much in in your on your mouth on your teeth rather, do you know what I mean? So they're quite fine, which I quite like, and they're see through. And you just give them a little brush in the morning. The biggest thing is the sensitising, I think. So what you have to be really careful of is the bits above, at the top of your teeth where they meet the gums, when you get a bit older. You can have receding, well, they just do the recede. So it's exposing the, uh, um, you know, the underneath, is it? So there's no enamel. And I think that's the bit that can hurt. So they put this special stuff on, which should last the three weeks. But you've also got this other stuff, these um, sensitizer sort of sticks. And you you pop that on in the morning if things are feeling a bit delicate and tender. And now I'm just to use only my sensitising or sensitivity proofing, I should say, toothpaste. Um, So, I mean, you can see why it costs so much because, you know, that's there'll be three appointments by the time it's done with two people. Right. All of the actual kit, which, you know, they must have done so much market research for all of it. And, you know, the packaging is lovely. It's very high end. It looks it looks really classy. You know, it looks like um, high end dermal fillers, top end sort of beautician, you know, plastic surgeon stuff. They've marketed it really well. So I'm go- so far I'm going to give it a recommend. I mean, I know I haven't started it yet, but I've started the process, guys. And if you can't stand the process at the very start, you're probably not going to be able to make it through. But the thing is, you know, there's no there's no white without a little bit of discomfort. Now, after my three... So the first week, I, I have them at night. I mean, I'm beyond excited, guys. I really am. I have them at night f- um, for seven days. The second week, it's all very easy to follow. The, the syringes are all labelled. Um, it's in the fridge now. It's got to be kept in the fridge. Really important. It won't work if it's not kept in the fridge. I know, the pressure. What if you have a power cut? Gosh, let's hope I don't have another power cut. I mean, I'll be straight round mothers. Put this in your fridge, mum. <laughs> I'm sure I won't have another power cut. Um, and number two is labelled, number two syringe. And you put that in once uh, for an hour a day. Yeah, I think it's an hour a day. And... The next one you put in, oh, I suppose once a week or something. I don't know. Um, But it's definitely every night and then just for an hour a day. I'm pretty sure it was. So that's that's no drama at all, is it, really? And then after that, it's once a month. Once a month. And, you know, you can just refresh your gel. You can buy new gel. Um, I mean, I don't know if you can put other gels in the in the molds once you've had them now the other thing i was really surprised about 
I've got my my teeth moulds. They're in my bag. I thought the dentist would have kept hold of those, but clearly no, how times have changed. I mean, my dentist, when I was younger, kept them for, you know, my crowns and things. Or they probably, maybe they threw them away. Perhaps they threw them away. So I've got my gnashes. So when I video tomorrow, I'll show you my gnashes. You can see my wobbly tooth, which is very depressing. I'm hoping when they're straightened, they won't look so horrific. Um, but of course, when I have them, when I have my invisible um, brace, which I'm going to have as soon as I can afford it, once the TV station's got more um, subscribers, I've got I've got subscribers already. But once I've got even more subscribers, I can go, me- you know, really mega with the old beauty and everything. Um, one of my fans has arrived. It's at Mother's. This is for the burlesque fitness classes. It's arrived and mum said, oh, it's the oddest thing because she opened it so I could find out what, what was in it. She said, it's a long stick with a with something on the end, like a fan. <laughs> I said, oh, that'll be one of my burlesque fans. She said, oh, and now that, there's, there's only one. I thought I'd order two, but we'll just use one. We can use one with a bar. Um, so that's for my classes you see the, the, these are my vegan options because I didn't want to use feathers because I don't every time I look at my feathers now they're up for sale on marketplace every time I look at my feathers I just think about the poor peacocks and um, flamingos or I mean I don't know who they who what birds do they pull these big ostrich it's ostrich isn't it of course it's ostrich ostrich feathers so um, you know they they to cap, um, you know, disable the ostrich and then pluck them. I mean, that's ghastly, isn't it? Really ghastly. So I, I didn't want to be part of that. So, um, so yeah. Now that now I've got, uh, I've got vegan options. I mean, as vegan as I can possibly manage in this world. It's so hard, isn't it? But this, you don't need feathers. But what we do use it in burlesque class is, um, lots of flowing scarves, a la. Isadora Duncan okay so we're much more about that and we use hats and things like that so this, and we're going to be doing high heeled work as well which is going to be really lovely because if you're if you decide to go on to be a professional burlesque performer you you may well want to use high heels it's quite likely actually so um, I'm going to be teaching all that as well how to how to do squats in high heels um, I looked earlier at the pistol squat. I gave it, gave it a go. I managed to sit down on a chair. This is how you train, doing a pistol squat. But I couldn't get up again. So I, we've got a lot of work to do, guys, you and I. But I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, I suppose we'll get on with things. See you over on my Twitter. I'm also on Facebook, unfortunately, which I hate. Um, I'm not, I won't answer anybody on, unless you're going to buy my furniture on Facebook. Telltale Club. But I'm not going to talk to people. But it's, it's the once you start talking, that's it. You're diving in. Then you're diving into the cesspit of life wasting. Um, it's worse than Twitter. At least with Twitter, I, I'm making a bit of money because people are, you know, they're coming to listen to me warble on, and and I get ad re- revenue, or they're or they're going to my website and they're, you know, they're reading my lovely stories, and then perhaps listening to po- podcasts at the same time. Um, because I don't make money on the stories, guys. The stories are all free for you. And uh, as part of my get become a famous in 365 days, you have to be really kind and lovely and give stuff away. So I'm giving away stories every single day. Um, that's my gift to the world. In order to achieve notoriety, um, a, and a slightly better notoriety than the one that I used to have. I'm a new, I'm a new being. I'm cleaner, not not in hygiene. Uh, well, I mean, I do you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I try and swear less, and there's no cavorting around in a thong anymore. Those days have gone. Okay, guys, that's enough for me for the moment. Of me for the moment. Um, I'm a little bit a little bit stressed. I'm going to go and have a nice cup of coffee just to make my stress even worse. Um, au revoir. Telltaleclub.com and iserverland.com.